Now, let's engage the Chairman of Parliament's Defence and Interior Committee, who is also MP for Empire. So, Mr. Seche Champong, good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Mamavi. Good morning. Good morning. Can you guys hear me out clearly? Oh, we yeah, can we hear can. you loud and we clear. Can. You are a member of Parliament. You chair a very important committee in Parliament. Do you have a gun? Yes. Yes, I do have a gun. Okay. So it's it's regular, normal for MPs to have guns, even though, uh, well, for, for the ministers, they also have police escort. Ideally, I think possessing a weapon and having one is not criminal. It's criminal when you have not gone through the due process of acquisition. If you go through the due process of acquisition through the Ministry of Interior and you have a personal weapon like um, a shotgun, um, which typically we will christen a pistol, um, it's all right. I, 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 there are other shotguns like the pump actions. Um, I know people who have licensed ones and I do have a pump action as well. So I, 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 and it's licensed. All you need to do is to go through the necessary protocols and have a weapon, but you are not supposed to brandish your weapon anyhow, anywhere where you go. It's clearly for your personal defense. So you don't tell people what your level of personal defense is. You don't demonstrate that because that is your strategy, that is your security. And that's your personal way of defending your humanity. So this is not how you go about telling people, I have this, I have that. Now, now what's your colleague uh, and then the Minister of State did uh, yesterday? Uh, that is defense by admitting that she, she gave a warning shot? Uh, this is a matter which is still under investigation, Roland. I have listened to many commentators, and this morning I just listened to my senior brothers, Chris Yining and uh, um, Kenel Labwaji. Um, they expressed their opinions. I think we need to look at some of these issues from in our perspective as we discuss it, from a very global approach. Um, I will just draw our attention to what I learned in secondary school of Newton's third law. Action and reaction are equal, but opposite. It isn't because I'm a politician. But when matters break in this jurisdiction of ours, fortunately, if you are one of my ilk, like a uh, political animal like myself, all commentary and you hold a position like we do hold, everybody expects you to play above a certain threshold. However, forgetting that in reasonableness, all of us are human beings, and we act and react at the same. And so I will certainly um, give my take that my colleague was in the process defending herself. Reasons are this. If you have gone into a normal registration center where you don't have any form of uh, what we witnessed in Kaswa. There are some neighborhoods when registration is going on, it's really, really sad. And I say this with all emphasis, that it is sad that Ghana, as we have come of age, and in this day and age, we will be intimidating ourselves, whoever gets the opportunity, and I don't take this beyond any person. It is so unfortunate that it does go around this way. Mm -hmm. I would not falter the member of parliament because when I was a candidate in the business and I used to go around, there are some areas you'd have to have some exchange of words with your other competitors. And we ours did not escalate to this end. But it all boils down to the mistrust that as a people, we have developed ourselves into. We mistrust ourselves so much that I don't believe Roland when he's telling me a very clean story. 
I don't accept Mamavi's voice. And as a result of that, okay. we would forgive my language. Mm. Go beyond normalcy and reasonableness and begin to use vulgar language against one another. Right. It's so unfortunate that this goes around. It's a and this is what happens. Mm -hmm. It is not only this yeah. is not all happening only in Kaswa. Forgive me. This is yeah. not happening only in Kaswa. Yeah, yeah. It's happening all over. Mr. Maybe cameras have been caught this. Yeah, Mr. Champo, but you do know that um, I lived in a community in which violence is normal. We all exchange words. So if you're a politician, and I'm sure you also you're an Accra boy as well, uh, you do know that exchanging of words is a normal thing in our society, is it not? It's that is why you are in a position of responsibility, is that, is that not it? And so that restraint and discretion is expected of you. I agree with you. Like I said, we are all human. Our tolerance levels vary. Roland, I have known you over decades. You know my tolerance level. I know your tolerance level. So, 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 so you agree the that the Minister of State's tolerance level was very minimal yesterday, and what she did was untoward. I wouldn't want to make the Minister of State the subject of the conversation. Okay. I think if you would look at my initial statement, I talked about action and reaction. What triggered her to behave in that manner. Me, me, I'm sure this me, is her third. Me, 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 if, 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 I, if, if, I, if I may, if I may, if I may, she, in her account, she's a sitting member of parliament in her second term, attempting as a candidate for our political party in the next general elections in December, where if she wins, she becomes a third term member of parliament. None of such has happened in her two attempts where there was registration exercise. None of a thing like that had happened. So we must find out why is it happening now that she's a bit more mature as a practical politician. This is where we look at it. And I wouldn't want to make her the subject. I would want us as a people to look at a mistrust of one another. And the way we would want to unduly take advantage of systems, I don't think she would have just walked to the station with guns. She's been monitoring the exercise. Nobody has seen her pull a gun out and offer a warning shot at the area she's visited prior to yesterday's incident. Mm. So, so it does not <clears throat> depict any character who is violent, no. So why I said what I said, was to situate this very conversation in a position where if Roland perished their thoughts, if some persons had that myself had committed this, I would have been crucified today. Why? Because I sit in a position and I sit in a very crucial and critical position. That aside, I'm human. So we need to evaluate the entire analysis mm. from such a position. Do, do you support the cause that she should resign? I'm sure that this is a matter left to none by the appointing authority, His Excellency the President. Okay. And I, was, I know the President is the Commander in Chief of all our armed forces, and his advisors will definitely speak with the President. The President will not just take any capricious decision that, that I know because he's an experienced statesman the committee very, that you chair in parliament the defense and interior committee is a committee interested in looking into this subject sure there are a couple of matters that have arisen on the fringes as this restriction is going on and we have written to not necessarily on the, the police service but some other state security services to offer us some explanations on the happenings. We are working at these matters at our level and in our own way. And so that is why I'm speaking from the way I'm speaking. It is good to listen to all the other sides of the situation. We should not just jump and begin to lay blame. At this time, if you're a politician, certainly the masses and most of the voice will lay blame on you. You should have known better. You should have known better. But I am a politician as well, and I am 
a political animal as well. And I am a human being. All of us in this fray, we should attend to these matters with reasonableness. And when we adopt that, we'll see that we will do very well. We should employ systems that allow us to also speak to our following. Mm. Every competitor in this business is a leader in this enterprise. And you must insist and control all who are following you. It's not just those who are in the saddle. Mm -hmm. It is those who are also competing, who are equally right in their rights, qualify in that respect to hold such positions. We should all be responsible. Finally, that mm. is the only way we can develop this our dispensation democracy we run. Finally, finally, Mr. Champo. The, the sad news is that would Sorry, sorry. Mama yeah, I, I was just going to, just because of time, uh, just the last comment that we want you to make. We're told that the Central Regional Police has invited uh, Madam Hawa Kumsin to help with investigations. Uh, are you surprised at this? No, I'm not surprised at all. Kaswa is under the Central Regional Command. And so due process must start from Kaswa. If it is over and above, the regional command it will move on to headquarters this is pure police administration and that is the right process that is due process we thank you very much for your time uh mr set a champion i'm very grateful for the opportunity i'm very grateful for the opportunity as well okay great you, uh, he's mp for empire so uh, but he also chairs the defense interior committee of parliament bringing us his perspective to this what you make of this? Well, share with us on social media. Go to our Facebook page. You'll see the videos that we've uploaded from uh, this showdown, and you can add your comments. We'll be bringing you a lot more at 10 o'clock on News Desk in terms of the reaction. Many more are calling for her to resign or calling on the president to sack her as her actions do not depict that of a minister of states, if you like. There's a press briefing uh, this morning on coronavirus. One of the things we've been talking about, well, uh, particularly yesterday from last Friday, the backlogs that we have with the samples is one of the issues that they will be addressing. Roland? Oh, definitely. And that's why we call it a wrap for the morning. Make sure that you stick and stay with us throughout the rest of the day. Bye-bye.